Let's get rid of the beers this See? time. I knew it. Let's, let's like just pop them back quick. What? Let's pop them back quick. Just for the sake of it, because... Okay. What's going on, you lot? What's going on? My name is James Matthews. I've, hopefully you already know that. If you ain't bloody subscribed, just do it, man. And this is Kitty from Atola Visuals. And if you don't know who she is, you are missing out big time. That's all I'm saying. You're missing out. This girl has got the sickest content on YouTube that you will find. And is I, that true? That is a guarantee. If you don't agree, come to my channel and argue with me. Oh my God, that was so sick. Did you like that? I liked it. Boom. Should we get into like a couple of questions and stuff? Yeah. Why don't we do like troll comments? We should do... Because hmm. your troll comments will beat mine. I'm quite lucky. My audience Let's just ain't read actually some that brutal. funny ass comments. It doesn't have to be troll comments, just like right. anything goofy. Because right, like the it. audience is the best. Oh, Zana put up a video. Anyway, yeah, let's get on to our, our stuff. Um, anyway, so me and Kitty have just got back from NAB. Mm -hmm. What does NAB actually stand for? Do you even know? Something broadcasting, national something broadcasting, I'm sure. Wow, I don't even know. I didn't even think about that. That's a good question. Anyway, NAB is NAB. It's basically just a big like event for filmmakers and stuff. And that's where we it's kind of Disneyland. linked up. It's Disneyland. It's Disneyland for filmmakers. And that's kind of where we linked up. And all of the rest of the other guys like Jason Vong, Josh from Momentum Productions. Ow. Um, who else? Brett from friggin' Insfomercial. What a legend. And then we had Sydney De Jong's on. That dude is crazy. So yeah, we had a wicked time. And we and forgot one more. I'm just kidding. Just made you think. I'd hate There's it. no one That'd else. That'd be terrible. You're like, oh, I forgot somebody. Yeah. So, NAB was sick. Um, we kind of just linked up, done loads of different B-rolly stuff, and we made like tons of content and vlog around NAB. And um, yeah, when I'm behind. Sick, yeah. I'm so behind. You're behind. I haven't even edited my rock my my my, 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 my I've even edited my Morocco stuff yet. So, um, shout out to the people that watch my Morocco stuff. You are sick. I appreciate you. Um, yeah. So. So you got two Moroccos out. I have got two Moroccos out now. There's a third. I can't say the last bit because I can't say it. I've seen it though. There's a bonus one. Anyway. No, it's the same place, but... Anyway, enough of that, enough of that. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so, Kitty. Kay. Let's go through some uh, troll comments, but at the same time, Ooh, yeah. we're just going to, like, let's just bang bang them forth. Bank. I can't even talk. Back and forth some comments. Um, yeah. So, go on. Have you got any... Uh, do you want me to uh, go through mine and like, quickly give you a little... Well, how did you start videography? Videography? Like, when was it, like, okay, this is what I'm going to do forever. Um, or I'm going to take this on somewhere. I actually started by, I started, like, BMXing, like, I don't know, like, 10 years ago. You BMX? Hell yeah, I was sick. Have you not seen what? my, you not seen my old school BMXing videos, man? No, they better be dope. You could do tricks and everything. Hell Show yeah, I used me. to, honestly, honestly, you're, this is going to blow your mind. I used to be a legend. I almost got, like... Like, That's why you're like, a... I'm pretty good at biking when I was like, can yeah, you bike? Yeah, you were like, you were like, can you ride this e-bike? I'm like, dog, do you even know who I am? <laughs> and I started getting all like American and stuff. So this is how you got famous? Uh, I'm, I'm not Which famous. Which one's you? Uh, that one? Yeah, that, that was my best one. Oh yeah, I'm in, I'm in the red. But oh, anyway, yeah. I started like filmmaking from BMXing because like, I just started BMXing then I started taking pictures of my mates BMXing and stuff. Then people were going, bro, man, that picture's pretty sick. Can you take one of me? So I was like, yeah, why not? Started taking a picture of them and then just thought, right, let's just do a couple of videos. Done a couple of videos, my uh -huh. mate's BMXing. What year um, is this? What year is it? 2011. So I don't know, Whoa. Like, three years. You lie. That's not, not bad, you. is it? Yes, it is me. What are you on about? It is me. Look, you I'll show like, you. will break a leg bone doing that. I'd, I'd break a leg now if I'd done it. But Just not. hit yourself in the shin. Does oh, that happen? It happened Ooh. all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah, so like, yeah, just started like filming my mates at the skate park and stuff. What camera started, was this? This was the 550D, but I don't know why it looks like it's been shot on a potato. <laughs> potato. This was, the, this was the camera that I had before the A7S II. Huh. Honestly, like, that camera was sick. I think if anyone's going to like start out learning filmmaking, get yourself like a really low-end Canon DSLR, learn your frame rates, learn your shutter speed, learn your aperture, learn your ISOs. Five Ds. Before you start jumping, everyone wants to get on the best cameras nowadays. Just 
Start from the basics, man, and you'll learn everything. Then when you go onto a better camera, you'll be able to utilize it to the max. What yeah, do you think I, about that? I had my 5D Mark II. That was like my first real, real camera that I did client work with. And I had that thing for like five years because no other camera was good enough until like the A7 R2 came out. And I was like, yeah. I need that camera. Like, that's everything I the want. The 5D 2 is like such a, like an iconic camera for like video. Well, my like, pixels started fucking up. Like, I used it so much that I had like burnt oh. pixels and I was like, oh, it's You've been shooting lasers at parties and stuff. As soon as that laser comes in, it just yeah. kills your sensor. I filmed a lot of like nightlife parties. And music oh, that's festivals. probably what it was. Did you? Like, the laser would come in and the laser just kills the sensor. How did you get in, uh, how did you like start videography anyway? Filmmaking. Filmmaking? Where do you hmm. want me to start with that? Well, where did it all start? When did you pick up the camera? Because you used to film, film, right? Look at my old website. Um, yeah. Nice. Oh, there's your old logo. There it is. Dude, Kittyography. Look, I did all this nightlife stuff. Nice. But, should I tell the same stories before? I don't remember what I said. Yeah, just how did you, how did you like first pick up the camera? How did you like start? Same one as before. I think good. like the very first time I picked up the camera. Was it before high school? I don't think so. We didn't even have camera phones. Well, you started on film. Yeah, I started, I took a photography class Yeah. in high school, and it was filmed 35 what, Can you remember what the name of the cameras were? That you I saw? have it. You still got it? I have all my first cameras. Well, go Should and I go get, get, get it? it? Hold on. Go and get it. My dad sent it to me. Hmm. Can I, um, can I open up these sky flakes, please? What? The sky flakes, can I open them up? Flakes, it says. Sky flakes. My son. Oh, yeah, these are Filipino crackers are my favorite. Oh, yes. I'm weird. I just like to eat crackers by themselves. But they're like Oh, good. what? They haven't got anything on them? No. Oh, dang, I'm, I'm just boring. opening them. I don't even want them like What? They're like completely you like wasted. Put... Oh, I'll try them anyway. Dry crackers, great. <laughs> this is your first ever cam? This is my first oh, camera. 5D2. This is the K1000 Pentax. Nice. Oh, what a beauty. There's a hippie strap on it. Oh, the shutter this, feels so Doesn't this so feel nice. so big now? Like, I'm just like, no way. Try shooting with the 1DX. Yeah, I was shooting with the 1DX know. in Morocco with uh, Mikey V, Mike Visuals. What a geezer. Shout out to you, boy. Um, and that thing is a beast. It's like, it's like got an extra, like, battery grip on the bottom. Just to yeah, it's insane. To stand. How do I open up the gate on this? You gotta just... Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, Look at that, and then like the shutter comes across. I want to do like San Francisco film. Photos. San Francisco looks sick on film. Oh, yeah. San Francisco is literally like the most scenic city. If you want to come to San Francisco and get content, you are sweet. This place is not shy of like any content whatsoever. It's literally yeah. got like and a million corner. different locations. Oh yeah, by the way people, we're in friggin' San Francisco. Yeah. San Francisco, that incredible place in the USA, the greatest country in the world, freedom and all that stuff. Um, shout the greatest? Out to, shout out to all, no, I was being like sarcastic. <laughs> shout out to all you lot who are from the US. Shout out to all you filmmakers, photographers, videographers, creators in general. Um, keep doing your thing, baby, because you are making a dent on the world. You do you, fam. You do you. you so, um, how long have you been uh, doing the YouTubes? Do you want to crack on I that? have like four channels, but I haven't done it consistently until like a year and a half ago where I actually took it seriously, but I would just post like random shit every so often. Look at, this is the shit I used to shoot. Oh, nice. Oh, I love the titles. Oh, I didn't make the titles, but yeah. <laughs> this was like a team. There was a team That's of so people because it's yeah, so big. Like Counterpoint, this was Atlanta. I got to travel to like New York. We went to Ultra and Florida. That was the best. Oh, the time lapse. Had. That was nice. Oh, yeah. My boss loved time lapses. Oh, I've done time lapses. Shout out to Chris maybe. Andrews for everything. Hey. Those are good times. Good yeah, times. Good. I always like looking back at my video. Actually, for me, like one of the best things about YouTube, yeah, mm. it's just the fact that, yeah, these are quite nice, actually, just on their own. Um, one of my, like, one of the best things about YouTube yeah. is just, like, looking back at, like... How far you've come. Yeah, not looking back at how far you've come, but just, like, looking back at old videos and thinking... That was a sick time. I know. No, I'm saying. I had the coolest job ever. Like, mm. I couldn't even picture a better job. Mm. Yeah, same with me. Like, some of like, the locations I got to go to and stuff, like, just mad. 
And like yeah, the people you sure. meet as the well. The people. Are, it's everything. The people are everything. For Damn, sure. they're actually dry as hell. But anyway. <laughs> Look at all of them are been taken down. How comes? I don't know. Oh, just too old. But, um, this website's hell. Look you know at, what? I didn't even pay for the damn thing to be bought. You know what's good though? Like when you're like making films and stuff, you meet so many different people, mm -hmm. but you don't like, you can't literally have like a million friends, like constant friends because you wouldn't have any time. But you meet so many people like temporarily and there's something nice about that. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Cause like, you can just be yourself. Yeah. Be well, open. No, yeah, we can be you, but it's like, it's nice because you meet like loads of new different people, but they will then move on and they'll go on their path and then you go on yours. Mm -hmm. And then like in the future, sometimes like you go on your path and then all of a sudden your, oh, yeah. your path is crossed. At another like, event, you're like, boom. hey. Yeah. Remember me? It's awesome. So for me, like one of the best things is just like meeting with loads of other like cool creators and whatnot. So yeah. And you get to meet famous people sometimes, which Hell is yeah. crazy. I mean like I'm sitting in a Tola Visuals' kitchen right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the spotlight of... <laughs> Of peace and prosperity on YouTube's. Always the peace. Always the peace. Always. It's worth it. You just mm. gotta tell yourself it'll be worth it one who's, day. Who's um who's like your favourite YouTubers right now? Who are you watching? Like if you had to pick like let's say like let's just pick three YouTubers. Three. In order of preferability. In order? Preference. Yo. That's hard though, because a few of them like they're not the same genre. They're just different. You know? Like I get in my different moods. Yeah, that's cool. But, oh yeah. Oh, I hate when I do that. Don't Shout out to Kitty. She just hit twenty k on the YouTube. I did. Thank you guys. You're Honestly, the best. I never thought I'd even make it to like five thousand. That is so. Even sick. one thousand. Oh, the first thousand took forever. Oh, the first thousand subs. You want to like first five hundred. You want to like get get YouTube just around the like neck. Clawing. <laughs> Nightmare. Anyway, after you hit that, but how good does that one k feel when you eventually hit it? Oh. You're like refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. Was it 200 where you get your own URL? I think that was like the best. 200 subs. Is it? I don't know. They made like a new rule where you had to get a certain amount of subs to make your own URL. But even... Mm. Don't know. Do you have one? I don't know. You have uh, one. I have got oh, yeah, one, but I, I tried to change it recently. Let me double check if it works. Because I, I just wanted it as my name. Mm -hmm. So let's see. YouTube.com forward slash James Matthews. I like emailed him. Yes, it works, man. It works because before it was James Matthews. <laughs> no, you didn't. I did. It, it actually still uh. works. Let me show you. Look. Hold it. Old Jules's. My favorite YouTubers. So, yeah. What? It's not working. Ah, oh, see, look, the old one still works. So you got two URLs. Yeah. That's not fair. <laughs> well, you know. If you're uh, if you're super popular and super cool, they give you two. But, um, lucky, lucky, yeah. lucky. Who's your yeah? Who's your three top favorite YouTubers? James Matthews, <laughs> number <laughs> one. Sure. No, no, no. Um, on a serious one. Oh no, no. I like. Ooh. Big butts, and I cannot lie. Yeah, I like big butts. I like Liza Koshy. You don't even know Liza Koshy. She just makes me feel so happy. She's just so smart. She never runs out of puns. She just makes my day. And like, is it Elijah or Liza? Liza. L I Z A. She's got like hell of followers. She's met Obama. 14, 14 million. mil. Jeez. She's on YouTube Red. She just does like she's just like one of those people that just oh, doesn't give a funny, fuck. She shows her personality and I like appreciate people like that who yeah. just like put themselves out there online and like people say what they want to say but it doesn't matter cuz mm. look, she's killing it. Yeah, that's wicked. And second? Second. Oh. Was there another one? I like watch... I get in my like weird vibes, depending on who I watch, but... Liza for sure is definitely up there. Like, every time she has a new video, I definitely watch it. Because my, my favorite changes, like, every month. I like MKBHD. Mm. Marquez. Yeah. He's freaking amazing. Like, I just want his life, honestly. Yeah, he's pretty sick. I'm not I like would that. take everything he has. And be yeah. like, yeah, I'll trade you. No problem. Yeah, he's wicked. And the third? Third. Well, I gotta say, Peter McKinnon's definitely up there. I watch like almost every one of his videos. Yeah, I do sick. like Niga Higa, though. Do hey. you know Niga Higa? Niga Higa. It's another comedy channel. No, I don't know. Niga Higa. What yeah. is it just like? He's this Asian to... dude from LA, and he just does like. 
his videos are just so over the top and like well produced and just has all these jokes like he never runs out even though he's been on youtube for like 10 years you can't tell because he just has mm. like this passion to just keep going they do like music videos and skits and just talk about random stuff yeah but yeah. look at 20 million it's insane whoa mm-hmm yeah he's sick bloody hell that's naughty yeah um i don't know i like I don't really watch any other channels that ain't like videography or filmmaking based, except maybe like Yoon Olsen. His are just like general travel, business, like fashion, like his one's a, a bit of everything thrown in. Mm -hmm. But like, for me, like Casey's got to be up there. Like Casey Neistat is awesome. But I'm just trying of to course. think like- he'd be like when, my number four. If, if I think about it, like what I'm trying to think is whenever I open up my sub box and I see, if I saw like a, a hell of a load of videos which one would I click on first exactly. if like my top five were on there? Mm -hmm. And I've got to say, it would probably be, let me think about it. Let me go through. Let me go through. Momentum Productions for sure. Momentous. Just a, in, last night you uploaded and we were like on it. There like. it, Momentous Productions uploaded today. He's a geezer. <laughs> um, right, let me think. Let me try and think about this. I'm definitely going to have to say, I, I know, I think I know my top three or I think I know my top four. I don't think I could bang it down to three. Mm -hmm. That's hard. But that was your question. That's why I'm uh, like, fuck. Like, uh, all right, what okay, would I okay, to okay. Watch? I'll do top three. I'll do top three. Um, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. It's gonna have to be. Uh, let's say, oh, uh, right, okay. Casey Neistat. Of course. Sydney Dion's on, <laughs> and friggin' your channel. Like, no Please. Doubt. See, I said your channel. You can't see mm -hmm. me. You gotta, we don't count. You gotta pick some No, 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 no. Honestly, like, swear down. If you, if, if you upload a video, I'm straight on there because I'm not going to be entertained for, like, the next 10, 15 Well, now you're picking minutes. favorites from the crew. They're going to be like, why ain't I top three? <laughs> like, well, Jason Vaughn. The boy, the boys know I, the well, boys. The, the boy, the lads, the lads, the boys, the boys, the lads. The lads. They, they know I love their channels, man, but I'm mm -hmm. just trying to think, like, in terms of, But you like, ain't top three. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This guy. You're a top five. This guy, chill out. Definitely four or five. Here six. we go, look. We're all head, even. Head's blown up. I probably shouldn't have said that. But, um, you yeah, know, <laughs> they, they, they know I love all their videos, mate. They love all their videos. You um, said you I don't like videos. Sam Calder, but you subscribe to him. I do like Sam Calder. Sam Calder's sick. Like, his stuff's different, but, like, it's just a bit, like, typical now. You know, like, well, when, so, you know same, when someone's, like, same. too popular that, like, you just, you kind of go off them a bit? Yeah, you just lose it, like, oh, okay. But he, he, Same to, thing. to be fair to him, he's the OG, his work is awesome, and he just seems like a cool guy. His just does my, Just does my nothing, he's good looking, his filmmaking is awesome, and he can do backflips. Like, oh, come yeah. on, bro, give me some of that. He does backflips literally every location. Yeah, like, he backflip off a toilet seat, honestly. <laughs> he could. Look, the geezer can do anything. So, like, for you, like, what is your favourite thing about, like, film making in general the creative process what's your favorite part of the creative process my favorite absolute favorite part i just like when i hit that zone where like nothing around you matters and you just like like you're trying to get this one shot in your head and you just work at it you know like i really get with that i don't know like when I'm shooting animals, I'm just like trying to get this like perfect angle and get them to look at me and just like try to telepathically <laughs> tell them what to do. Yeah. And I'll be at like shooting a squirrel for like 15 minutes. Like I don't care. How's that but me today? Like, I was filming that bloody, you know that bird that I told you to like. The fucking bird today. Oh my God. I was like shouting at this bird to fly off. Anyway. Because they're so unpredictable. So you have to be like. What are you going to do next? I was like shouting at this, uh, I think it was like a crow up in the tree. And I had like the bay bridge in the background. I was thinking, right, if he flies off right now, that will look sick. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I get Kitty to like lob this stick at it. The stick. No, you said to clap. Yeah, I, I told you to clap. Yeah. You were clapping and it was just like edging its way along the, the branch. Lob, you ended up lobbing this stick at it. The stick was in the shot. Yeah. And then it flew off. Don't get me wrong. It was awesome when the bird flew off. But the stick was in the shot, man. It looks like we're trying to like terrorise the animal. Technically, we were terrorizing the animals. Anything for the shot, all right? I was but I'm, I'm all at for wild. It. I'm all for wildlife, guys. All for wildlife. But if you're gonna get the shot, get the shot. But um, yeah, man. I'm what glad. Are your that... favorite Instagrammers? That's a good question. Oh God, where's my phone at? <laughs> Instagram's a whole other world, people. Phone is a uh, still on the Mavic controller because you know we was doing a bit of indoor flying earlier. We wouldn't fly outside in a city because that'd be totally illegal. Yeah, we didn't it, do that at all. We wouldn't. We're good citizens. Yeah, of course. Of yeah, let city. me check. Let me just check my IG. Uh, 
Favourite IG? It's going to be anyone. It doesn't even have to be filmmaking, photography, anything like that. Well, of course, look at my YouTubers mm -hmm. aren't all filmmaking. Let me see. Um, I'm trying to think. Favourite Instagrammers? Mike Visuals, 100%. Mike Visuals is up there. No word of a lie. He, that guy is sick. <laughs> um, oh. Oh, is that me? Momentum Productions. Josh, you just uploaded some fire, bro. Oh, no. What a geezer. I'm going to have to proper look at this. Oh, my God. Right, if any of you see my Instagram where, like, there's me riding a skateboard, like, in the Las Vegas there's city. Behind the scenes there's behind There's BTS of me doing that because it looks fake. The picture don't even look real. So go over to Momentum Productions Instagram. Ooh. Yes, Josh, that is sick. Well done, bro. You're awesome. What a geezer. Josh, bro, you're sick. Yeah, right, favourite Instagrammers. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm going to say Mike Visuals. Jordan Hammond is very, very sick. Um, who else? I'm trying to think, man. Uh, and I'm not allowed to use, like, booty chicks, right? Squats Po. Squat, yeah, Squats Po. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to say Jordan Hammond, Mikey Visuals. Um, who else? Peter McKinnon's pretty damn good on Insta, I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I'm trying to inspire myself on Insta nowadays. I'm trying to like up my Insta game. He's using hashtags. I started finally. using hashtags today, bras and gangers. Um, yeah, not a finally. bad idea. Finally. Because <laughs> I need to up my Instagram game. Mm -hmm. That is one of Jordan Hammond's. Do you know, you know Jordan Hammond? This is his work. Oh, he's, wow. He's sick. That's yeah. nothing. His work is bloody awesome. And he's from the UK. Is he from, yeah, and he's from the UK. Jordan Geese, look. Hit me up, bro. I'll make your life better. We'll chill out and Collab. do some bits. Um, Yeah, look. His work is freaking awesome. Oh. His colour schemes are beautiful. Look, look at that. Japan. I'm real. Oh, look at that. that, that there's like a story sick. in that. There's a story in that pic. Awesome. Who's your favorite Instagrammers? Other than me, obviously. Do you like, yeah, of course you. Every time, and number one, go to. Numero uno. Oh, Punka. I've got a good one. I've got a good one. Who is the first one to look at your Instagram story? Because I think that means they stalk you. Who's the first one to look at my Instagram? I hope Instagram. I'm not on there at the moment because I've been looking at him because obviously we're together and that like, at the moment. So do you follow him? K-Punka? K-Punka? I don't know how to say it. No, I don't. But he's quoted the squirrel whisperer because he takes the most beautiful freaking animal. Like, this is what I wish I could do. Animal shots. Animal shots. you got to sneak. You've got to, you've got to make them feel at home. When Look, you're there, you've got to like... like whoa, okay. That's it sick. What's that? Like the colors. That's like a, that's like a 35 mil. Like how? Oh hell, that is nice. He's like a Disney. You character. know what? You know what I think about colors lately. I've got like my own theory on colors at the moment, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking like, let's look at them. There isn't a hell of a load of colors. There's literally like one or two colors. Mm -hmm. So in Instagram pictures and video, to be fair, mm -hmm. I'm trying to just like pick a certain set of colors, like yeah. one, two, maybe three colors. If you try and like keep it to like there was. The typical one is like orange and blue, right? Mm -hmm. But if you can just keep it like a very small color palette, so you've just mm -hmm. got like two colors and work on them two colors instead of like trying to work on like a million different colors, yeah. then you're going to be good. That's what I think anyway. Mm -hmm. right. I have like a green theme that I want to put out, but I'm not ready yet. Great, you're not ready. I you're not ready for that. Well, it's spring already, so why not? I know. That's what I said I was going to post. It was spring, but I like really like what's going on lately. Like I have these like really crazy greens here <laughs> nice. that I wanted to do more of, Yeah. but that's all I got. But they look sick. Like, look at that. I have never posted it. I love moss. Oh, these are all the pictures that you've taken? Mm-hmm. Sick. Oh, yeah. By the way, people, check out our Sunny Franny videos. Not videos. Uh... Uh, pictures from San Fran. We was out till like oh my God. eleven o'clock last night taking pictures of yeah. Golden Gate Bridge. Ah, oh, lovely gaff. Not gonna lie. And we found a sweet little spot, didn't look we? Look at that. I wish someone was like on it or something. But... Oh, nice. Yeah. See, look, really like, like the color scheme is good because there's only like a few different colors in there. Just great. Because I've noticed green. like recently I've been taking pictures of like loads of different colors and I'm like, what the hell? This looks rubbish. Oh my God. It's just color Have you overload. Seen my old Instagrams? <laughs> Terrible. Oh so saturated i was like what am i doing yeah the thing is you've got a style though i haven't actually got a style this took me a long time mm. you got to play with all the colors and get the feel yeah but i, I really like this black and white kind of red yeah yeah like nice fun. like whites that are actually white look great yeah if you've got whites that aren't white they look crap mm -hmm. like i've seen people like do like turn the desert into white recently it looks pretty sick. It looks like clean. That's kind of cool. It is. Like, if it's like a it really, right. like, low, low saturation, like, white colour. Mm-hmm. Really, really nice. 
I like your winter theme. You didn't post oh, that many. I didn't though. really post that many. Actually, to be fair, I completely like milked the my skiing trip. I like got like eight pictures out from skiing. Look at how oh, dang. the colors are. Just, Whoa, like, yeah, but that looks. Too it's much. quite. Ref that's quite refreshing, though. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. But yeah, the colours are quite a lot. It's got, what is that? Is That's that you? My yeah, my oh, Halloween. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Jesus. Melina. Was awesome. it Melina? Oh, whoa, look at that. Damn. You were... I take Halloween seriously. Oh, yeah, we take Halloween seriously in the UK, don't worry. Especially if you go to university. Shout mm -hmm. out to my university lads. You lot are top. Remember the good old Let's days when go. we were out? Dressed up as like dead centers once. Oh, this that is my sick. old, like the pier. Oh, nice. That's where we was. Who's that? Is that you and Brian? No, it's randos. Two randos. Oh, nice. But very, I could do this nice. so much better now that I'm like looking back at them. Yeah. But. Right, I've got a question for you. Oh, yeah. Filmmaking based, mm -hmm. uh, photography based, life based. If you could pick one camera and one lens. I hate these questions. Oh, yeah, but just <laughs> but yes, one. Like go on. One, like the most versatile thing, what would you pick? And it's actually got to be something that you already own because you've got quite an array of cameras. And it could even be that old pen. Is it a pen test? No, it's definitely not that one. Okay. I'll run out of film and then I'll be doomed. But there's no batteries. Yeah, that's a that's a good thing. It's literally all just like mechanical, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm. I like my A7R2. Yeah? Because it does 42 megapixels, it does 4K. I you mean gonna, uh, you're gonna get the, the Mark III? I don't think so. No. Maybe. I want the A7S3 for crying out loud. I'm Sony. just waiting. Sort us out, please. Hurry up, please. I feel like it's been a year and a half just waiting for this. Like where is it? Like, where is it? Where is it? Like, bring it out. We're waiting. Mm -hmm. Filmmakers are waiting. We're waiting for that camera. We're going to do naughty bits with it. Naughty if you don't give bits. it to us, we ain't going to have the opportunity to do it. I know. But at the end of the day, is it all about the gear, though? No, it's not. As much as it's so much fun to play with, like, if you don't know what you're doing and how to use it, like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. You could have a red with cinema glass and you wouldn't know what to do with it. No, You wouldn't man. know how to light or do audio, like, there's no story there. Bad. What does it matter? They're yeah. just tools to tell a story. Exactly. If you ain't got story, bro, you ain't got nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. That's all I'm saying anyway. Yeah. Because um, I'm all about story personally. But it's nice to hear you say that because you're all about the tech. You're all about I the am. gear. All about I like get excited about gear. Sure. Seven different gimbals. And, um, but yeah. I didn't have this much gear before. Like I had one camera for five years. I had like two lenses Would you, Wouldn't forever. you like to go back to that stage and like be so minimal and be like, I've got one, I've literally can only afford one camera. I've got one camera. Like, what could I do with it now? Like, kind of knowing the stuff that you've no. got now. <laughs> I would still have, like, five cameras. There's no way. I would. I, I totally worked my would. ass off to get, like, I totally all the would. gear that I wanted. So. I actually want to make a video, like, just shooting with my old 550D. Just to be like, guys, look, you don't need the gear. Just shoot this, tell a cool story. <laughs> Like yeah. seven, 60, 720p, well, 60 frames. Like there's just something about film cameras that makes you really think about your shots and just not like, okay, let me try this like five times. Exactly, because you've only got like one, one go. Exactly. Pop and go. Frame up, shoot, People done. don't know how to do that. No. Sure. They don't even know how to expose. Hmm. They'll just like, I'll fix it in post, it's fine. Yeah, it'll be sweet. But... Right. I think we're about to hit our 30 minute mark. So should we wrap this up? Do you want to... That's wanna, it. That is. You said this last time on our live stream. Yeah. Camera's about to shut off itself, but. No, it's not. It will. I think no. it's on like 23, 28. We've literally got like a minute. Right. All right. A Thanks for hanging out with us. Subscribe if you haven't already. No, hold on. You got to plug, like your, own, you you gotta plug your own channel. Plug yourself. You do you, and we'll see you when we see you. <laughs> plug yourself. Can't plug the, myself. I can't say the B word because it's actually <laughs> offensive in a. In America, in the What's UK, the you say, word? plug yourself. Oh, why is that offensive? Well, I've, I've heard it's offensive in the US. But it's not here. You can be a salty... I call my friends bitches all the time. <sighs> I told you it was going to run out. Right, this is Kitty and James take three now. <claps> Go on, you do it. Right, quickly, plug yourself so that my... That's dudes... it? But we have 30 minutes now. Oh, we've got another... We can't do another 30 minutes. <laughs> plug yourself and then... um. We're gonna the second this. hottest merch in the game. Trust me. Shop.atolavisuals.com. The store isn't out yet, but I'm Wait, making my on. launch video soon. Hold on. If that's the second hottest merch in the game, what's the hottest merch in the game? Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah. 
So, um, yeah, you can check out Kitty at Atola Visuals on the YouTubes, obviously. Literally. On Twitter, on Instagram, on Pinterest, on Vimeo, whatever. <laughs> Snapchat I don't post anymore, but you can follow me there if you want to. She's got all of like all of the all of the handles. I wish I could get all of my own handles, but it I'm took gonna... seven months to find a oh. handle that all matched. Just, like, I, I was so OCD about. It. I was like, I need my handles all the same. Just harassing people. Give me your handle. I will do anything. Like do I will do wrong Just things. Find together. an ocean animal and make that your name. An and... ocean animal. Take a like letter a, out. What's what's that like hippo? That's like a water hippo. Like the uh, a hippo. The, no, no, like a water one, like they, they kind of like they've they're got like the big paddles as like uh, legs. A platypus. Platypus, that's it. <laughs> platypus, platypus videography. Oh Pla my platypus god. Platypus films. Yeah, that's definitely. That's actually open. a sick name. Platypus films. Platypus. Platypus fun films. To, fun to say. Anyway, people. Platypus. We're checking out because we've got bear editing to doing that. But thank you very much for watching. This young lady here has been Kitty from Atola Visuals. I have just been myself the entire time. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And uh, stay sweet. And I will see you back in the UK very damn soon. Because Sally Franny, my time is up, unfortunately. And um, but it's been a sick time, though, yeah? It's Shall we close this out with a, a high five, yeah? A high five. Three. Oh, a fist pump. Three, two, one. Boom. Boom. Sweet.